The government estimates that traffic jams cost more than 59 million Kenya shillings a day in lost productivity in the city. Every month, the city needs about 10.5 kilometers of additional car parking area, a distance that approximately spans from Nairobi CBD to Kangemi. Why? This is because the Kenya Revenue Authority registers 8,000 cars monthly, with 7,000, according to Governor Evans Kidero, ending up in Nairobi. Tomboya Street, Nairobi, is slowly turning into a mega bus park with public transport vehicles parking on either side. Minibuses are parking in clearly yellow marked pavements, which should mean that these are places not permitted for parking. The situation is rendering this part of the city almost at standstill due to the recurrent traffic jams. This also gives rise to other problems, namely noise and air pollution, without measure. Sana sana hii magari ndogo. Unajua hii magari ndogo? Unaweza kukuta mtu anaenda anaenda nini langata, lakini anavita hapa ndani. Mwingine anaenda Vega na anavita hapa ndani. Na unajua matatu anavita kulingana na ile barabara ameagizwa na serikali. Well, it is 11 a.m. on Tomboya Street and the traffic is crazy. Few years ago, it used not to be like this, but due to the allocated parking of matatus on both sides of the road, vehicles are having a problem moving freely on this part of Nairobi. According to Mohamed Abdullahi, the county executive for transport, roads and public works in Nairobi County, the new trend of parking in undesignated areas is due to rampant corruption among city county staff. Corrupt officers within the administration, I think we've put them on notice. Um, I think we've been able to curb that to some extent by not allowing anybody to issue any new uh, allocation of uh, uh, parking or loading uh, zones other than what has been designated. It has come to my attention, it has been sold, but we are going to do something so that those licenses to be revoked because some people are doing that thing illegally. You know, when once the county has received money, it cannot stop picking that money. First it will be picked, but after through investigation, you'll find that somebody is behind that, and therefore we are trying to stop that. One is left wondering what the county government is doing to decongest the city and give relief to people doing business within the city. Uh, so what government is doing, which will come into fruition in the next um, four to five years, is come up with uh, invest in bus rapid transit system, mass rapid transit systems uh, that will now discourage people uh, from driving into work. Vehicles. So um, this is the only way we can do that, encourage those who have vehicles, keep them at home, use public transport, but first we, they must be reliable. And uh, the, the government also has got to find a way of, not only government, even private sector, of not all of us reporting and work at eight. Children go to school at eight, uh, workers go to school at, uh, go to work at eight, business people go to, work, to open their businesses at eight. So we are all crowding the road at 8 o'clock and we all leave at 5. So there must be a way of stagnating it so that we can have other people arriving at 7, 8, 9, up to 10. And then they leave from 4, 5, 6, 7. The transport regulations are being disobeyed daily without abandon. Just next to the city hall, we watched as parking space clearly marked as reserved for persons with immobile disabilities being encroached by a man not in need of a wheelchair. Well, the traffic snarl up in the city that is really wasting a lot of time and resources has not even spared the road just outside the city hall. And this is where Evan Skidero, the governor of the county, sits. This is where the city inspectorate itself sits. And this is where you walk outside here and you find the places marked no parking with the yellow paint have vehicles parked on them. This is where there is double parking. So surely, if the Nairobi County cannot control the traffic outside their offices, how much less can they control traffic, for example, on Tom Boyer Street? Solomon Wery, GBS News.